I'd like to be under the sea in an octopus's garden with you. Let's keep working on our octopus toys. Hello, my talented artists. If you like this content, subscribe! Let's begin by looking at two brushes. I want you to look really carefully and be a brush detective. I want you to see if you can find some things that are the same about these two brushes. Pause to discuss. Now I want you to find some things that are different about these two brushes. Pause to discuss. Now that we've looked at our brushes, we are gonna talk about decorating our toy. Often when people started making toys to sell in shops, they thought, I know what will make these toys appealing. I will make them with lots of beautiful bright colors and the children will want them and will want to play with them. So we are going to use our special three primary colors today. So yellow, red, and blue. If you see some of the green, that's dried. I don't have green, any wet green paint. It's just yellow. And we are going to use our brushes. I'm also going to teach you how to wash your brush between colors. I want you to pick if you want a big brush or a little brush. It's going to change the mark that you make. I'm gonna pick a big brush, but you might want a little brush. We are going to start by picking one of the colors. Once you pick that color, you cannot dip your brush in any of the other colors until you wash your brush. I'm gonna use red. We are going to dip our brush, making sure that the paint stays on the bristles. The paint doesn't need to go up here on the handle and make sure your hand is close. That gives you more control. And you can hold your tube this way or you can hold it the special way with your fingers in there. When you're holding it like this, you start to get paint a lot of places then you might want to switch to this method. I'm going to start holding it like this. I'm going to use my paintbrush to make dots or spots of red all over. I'm going to do a scatter pattern. That means it's a little bit all over. I'm going to look and see where else do I need another red dot. I think I need a red dot where I was holding it. So I'm going to put my fingers in there and make a red dot. You don't have to do a scatter pattern like I'm doing. You could do rows of dots, circles of dots. You could plan to have big dots in, on the bottom and little dots on the top. And you could do lines of dots. Dots can be used in many different ways. And I want to introduce you to a very important dot artist named Yayoi Kusama. Yayoi Kusama is a Japanese artist who is famous for her polka dot art. This is a really cool piece of artwork called an installation where all the people who visited got dot stickers and could add dots to the room. It's amazing what can happen when everybody adds to an artwork. Yayoi Kusama is 93 and she is still making art. That looks pretty good. Now, I notice it's kind of a bump right there. So I'm going to smooth the bump without 
changing the dot. Oh, this dot needs more paint, so I'm gonna add paint there. And I'm not moving my brush. I'm not making a brush stroke. I'm just making dots. I'm looking for lumpy paint. This paint cracks when it's lumpy, so I don't want lumpy paint. This dot needs a little more. All right, I am ready to switch colors. I'm gonna set down my tube. I'm gonna take my brush and I'm going to press it on the bottom of the water bowl. Like I'm sweeping the water at the very bottom. I'm sweeping the bottom of the bowl back and forth slowly. I'm not going to do it fast because it can get splashy and wild. And one thing that we naturally want to do after we have washed our brush is go tap, tap, tap on the rim of our bowl. We're not going to do that. And the reason why we're not going to do that is the water splashes and sprays when we go tap 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 so instead I'm going to press my brush against the side of the bowl to make sure I've squeezed out all the water and I can brush my messy paper to see if any color comes out if any color comes out I can wash it again now my brush is ready for the next color I can dip it in and I can dot, dot, dot wherever I want my yellow dots to go. Once I start running out of paint, I need to dip, whoops, I need to dip again. If your brush gets all meshy and sloshy with paint, twirl it against the side and pull up. Now I have done all the dots that I want to do with my big brush. And I can gently sweep the bottom of my water bowl and I can test it. First press, then test. Oop, it's a little bit yellow, still needs a little more washing. Sweep, 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 pressing gently, going slowly. Remember to go slow if you want to be neat slow and low that is the tempo if i want to be neat i've got to go slow now i'm going to use my little brush and i'm going to do little dots because a little brush is for little areas a big brush is for big areas i can do them on my other dots or i could do them other places whatever you want once you get all the little dots that you want you are done with your painting. Yay! I can't wait to see what you do with your dots. Make sure that you do good washing of your brush and don't go tap, tap, tap. Yay!